So let's talk about the scoping the engagement in the Comchia Pen Test Plus. There are total six phases whenever you're going to plan and execute a pen testing or penetration testing. There are total six phases which are very critical to the successful planning and execution of a pen test or penetration testing. So we are going to talk about them in the points here now. First is the pre-engagement interaction. So when you talk about the uh, pre-engagement uh, interaction scoping, this is also known as scoping. So in the pre-engagement interaction or the scoping here, this is a pre-phase. During this phase, a pen testing company will outline the logistic of the test, the expectation and all the legal implications. What are the objectives, objectives and what are the goals uh, where your customer would like to achieve. During this particular phase, during pre-engagement interaction or scoping, the pen tester should work with, uh, with the enterprise to understand any kind of risk. So the pen tester also has to understand your PBA, pattern of business activity. Okay, that includes the culture of your organization and what will be your best pen, uh, pen testing strategy for your organization that could be understood by any pen tester by understanding only by when they uh, have the proper PBA pattern of business activity understanding or what are the different or uh, what are the uh, what is the organization culture uh, it is being used so then they can use any kind of uh, pen testing it could be white box it could be blade box black box it could be gray box pen testing so there at this particular stage only, the planning will occur along with the uh, where you're going to align your goals for the specific pen testing outcomes or the results when you talk about. Second phase is reconnaissance or open source intelligence or OSNIT gathering here. So when you talk about this particular phase or the second phase here, so here it's a, a very important first step we can say in the pen testing so as a pen tester here you have to gather as much as, as much as intelligence on your organization and any kind of potential target where you're going to do the exploitation so depending on uh, which type of pen test you you are going to do your pen uh, pen tester uh, they have uh, uh, they will be give they will be given different uh, information about your organization what kind of information will be given to them so that depends on on this phase here. So when you talk about uh, different uh, uh, techniques in this particular phase, so uh, there will be search engine query, there will be uh, like your domain name search, there will be your text records, There'll be social engineering. Then it could be your uh, internet footprinting. In the internet footprinting, as we know, it includes your email addresses, username, social network accounts, all this. Then dumpster diving. So all the phases which you use in the ethical hacking and tailgating, all these options can be used in the this phase, second phase here. So a pen tester will use all the uh, checklists to find out any kind of open entry point and any kind of vulnerabilities within the organization. So we have got this OSINT uh, framework which gives the uh, details for open information sources. Then the third phase is threat modeling and vulnerability identification. During this particular phase, the tester is going to identify the targets and is going to map the attack vectors in which direction the attack can be done. Any information which is uh, collected during this particular uh, phase is used to inform the method, uh, which uh, method of attack during this pen test. So the different uh, common areas any pen tester is going to map will be part, we can say your employee data,
customer data, technical data, business assets, what are the threats? Threats includes uh, where you're going to identify and you're going to categorize the internal and external threats. Then uh, if you talk about internal threats, so internal threats could be your employees, vendors, management, the external threats. It includes uh, your uh, open ports, then protocols, any web applications, network traffic, all these things comes under the threat model here. So the pen tester will use the vulnerability scanner to uh, complete the discovery and inventory uh, to find out any kind of security risk is there, to identify any vulnerabilities. So then the presenter, uh, the pen tester will be validating if any prop any kind of vulnerability is actually exploitable or not so then the list of vulnerability will be shared at the end uh, 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 at the end of the pen test exercise during this the uh, reporting phase which will come in the end then exploitation so when you got the map of all possible vulnerabilities and entry points the pen tester will start to test the exploits whatever has been found with inside your network which includes your network applications or data so the uh, reason or the objective is for the pen tester is to see exactly where they can get inside your environment, how far they can go inside your network, inside your enterprise. So identify the high value target or then they have to make sure that they will avoid any kind of detection. So uh, where if, if you're uh, establishing any scope initially, then the pen tester will have only will only go as far as this particular guideline you have created that this is the scope the pen tester will be not allowed to go beyond this you know means you you want you don't want that your pen tester uh, should um, you know go to uh, i mean you will define in a scope to not pen test cloud service for example or to a particular department right so uh, for that you can create a scope so different exploit techniques are being used here uh, for example there is a wi-fi attacks there could be zero day angle, there could be physical attacks, could be a web application attack, network attacks, different type of exploitation can be done in this level here. So your pen tester will review and document how the vulnerabilities are exploited and explain the techniques and tactics has been used to obtain the access uh, to uh, to the targets so during this particular phase exploitation phase the pen tester will explain the clarity what the result were from the exploit which has been achieved uh, on these targets so these are the four phases and two more phases are there so that's uh, for these four phases from the, thank you.